So, welcome to Think Differently. Think Differently. I got you there. Yes, I got you, you did. There. I was so impressed you got the think part right. I was waiting for the WTF. So, what did you have a WTF moment? I did actually. It's the only fact Bess actually got this right. But he got it wrong. But he's actually not wrong because we're talking about think differently. Which is the third or the second the component second. of the machine, the trust machine, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. And you, you know what? It sounds a bit flippant, think differently. Uh, but it, there, there's a way of thinking differently here, Brett. You know, we've spoken about mm. playing the long term game. Long play, yep. Yep. And yep. with that long term play comes a different type of thinking. And this is what we're talking about here. Now, in the old mechanical world that we used to operate in, what we would do is we would break down things into parts and we would become mechanics. Mm. Now mechanics are really good when your car breaks down, you want someone to put the new part in and it works. If you have a heart problem, you want a heart mechanic to get in there, put a new heart in. Specialist comes in Absolutely. and solves the problem out. But the problem uh, is problem. we can't run our businesses yeah. in this mechanical approach because you can't take a problem and simply put in a solution and expect the whole system to actually start working. So you can't run your business on a mechanical basis. Mm. There are places for it that is relevant and some mm. parts of your team need to be able to run it in a mechanical way. But what you need to be doing is looking at this rather as a system or as a network because it's an interaction of different relationships and when there's trust in those relationships, that system will thrive. I need to break it down there. Absolutely. Okay, right. so when you are saying network, and a system, my computer brain goes, yes. I understand systems, it's a bunch of components, a CPU, a whatever, a network, a more CPUs, yeah. I think system like that, and no. network, I think of data being transferred between different bits. No, it's a little bit more complicated, Brett, sorry. I know, no, no, I realize that, I mean... But I'd love you to just dig into it, right? So, you, you know what keeps coming to mind? And, and the more we dug into this, I, I remember reading up on fractal equations. Mm. And, and this is the, the, a true system. And a fractal equation creates these beautiful images. And a fern tree, as an example, is a fractal equation. So the closer you look at the image, it self-repeats. So it's a mm. self-repeating pattern. And it's made up on a very simple mathematical formula. So think of your strategic vision and objective of the organization. This is what it should be. And what happens is it's an open system, so there's new information coming in. And the system keeps repeating back on itself. So it's self-reflective, but it grows and it expands based on a very simple principle at the heart of it. A blockchain is, in my mind, a fractural equation because you've got a set of rules that are, 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 are absolute in the sense of if this happens, then that happens. If this happens, then that happens. And it expands as it evolves. Now, when we look at this, there really are three types of hierarchies that come out of the system. I think before you get into that, okay. I'd love to get it. Like, I can't relate to it. I want to understand a real world example of what the system would look like. I get it, the blockchain, but that's... Yes. If I'm in a business and I should be thinking of it as a okay. system to build this trust, All right. can we think of an example? Yes, we can. Everything is a system. Absolutely everything is a system. Mm. Your family unit is a system. Your neighborhood is a system. Um, our marketplace is a system. And our marketplace is governed through a and series so of principles. many, your networks, so there's so many touch points and Absolutely. I got it. Every system. We're always thinking of a straight journey, right? No, 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 On no, a mechanical no, no. process. Absolutely. And there are many of them, but actually the system is dynamic. It's very dynamic and it's changing and it's different non points and some things have, oh, okay. It's non-linear. It's um, the one thing I really couldn't get my head around and I hope it's helped you guys kind of get your uh, head Absolutely. Around. I don't know if you remember on the Futurology shows, I always said to you and Brett, mm. the future is not linear. Mm. You cannot extrapolate the past straight into the future. Mm. You've got to extrapolate the pattern. Mm. And there's a very big difference in understanding that. Mm. Um, so everything is nature is a great system, right? Nature is is the yeah. is the, is the, the ultimate ultimate system. ultimate system. And to truly understand the system, you've actually got to go and study quantum physics, yeah. um, which is yeah. not that complicated. I mean, obviously the mathematical side mm. of it is, but the underlying principles are not as complex as as, as they sound. You put a great book. Do you want to recommend? Yes, book? Leadership in the New Science by Margaret Wheatley. Yeah, Absolutely. written back in the nineties, guys. Yeah, I mean this stuff is. Yeah. Modern thinking. 
No, but when she wrote it, she was really struggling with the idea of systems thinking. Um, so now, there is three big components to building a yes. system of trust. Should we get it in our next series? No, let's look at the hierarchies first. But don't you want to do it in the next series? Though? All right, let's do that. Because I'm just thinking, we're over our time. Oh, sorry. I was getting so excited. Bye. Bye.